families from Paris. Ooh. Oh, it's exciting. We're very tired. Why are we tired? <laughs> so we've had a, a long travel day. It's been pretty A day hectic. of two halves. Yeah, Mike's completely right. So we have had like two halves. So I will kickstart you with the beginning of our day we'll take you right back to the beginning so we obviously were staying in the YHA St Pancras um opposite St Pancras station we woke up nice and early packed our cases headed downstairs grabbed a coffee yeah and then we headed into St Pancras station tell everybody about St Pancras station St Pancras station was really impressive wasn't it we've never done the Eurostar have we we've never done it before absolutely amazing so one minute you're walking down the street, then next minute you're in this station. Oh, it's like yeah. being in um, an airport departure lounge, isn't it? Yeah, but better. But yeah, go with on. a bit Sorry. more spice. It's really impressive. So it's actually made up of an old building, but when you go inside, it's like modern meets old. Would yeah, you say? It's just really, it's just really impressive. I mean, I feel like you need to go to experience it. The atmosphere. <laughs> they've got a piano there, and there's people. Going up, taking it in turns, playing the piano, and there's lots of nice shops, bars, restaurants, cafes, isn't they? But then the Eurostar train is just like right in the middle of the building. Yeah. It's like glass panelled off, and it's high up on an elevated platform. It's just yeah, the roof is really high, isn't it? And then super feel impressive. Like in, feel like in King's Cross, isn't it? Yeah, Wait. but su just super impressive. And then we're not very good at describing it. No, but anyway, some, it's amazing. There's that statue and the big clock and. We're going to show you it, so we don't have to explain it too much, but it's I feel really like it's... nice. <laughs> we always say really nice. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, you need to Yeah, that's it. how our best, our best describing words are. Really, really nice. nice. We love that word. See if you can spot it in any of our early videos. We haven't got a large vocabulary. <laughs> <laughs> but no, check, this, check it out. Check it out.
we went, we enjoyed a little bit of time in there. Yeah, so that was an, uh, an experience in itself. Yeah. If I would have even gotten to it. We were just wowed everywhere. Wow, the kids were wow. And then, really good. One of the, a little bit, one of the downsides, you've got to go through departures like you would in an airport. So, or your luggage, you're queuing up. You but that's just normal. Yeah, you go through security and you also go through passport control. So it's just the same as if you were going But I don't think airport. it was as um, drawn out as an airport. It no. seemed quicker. But it's still, it was exciting. We're heading into another country. Um, we'd never been in this building before. So you can imagine the excitement. It was very exciting. Yeah, and then experience. they gave you the platform as uh, where your train was well in advance. So you, there was nobody rushing. You, you know, you could go at a really chilled out pace. Your seats are all reserved on seats the Eurostar anyway. So there's no panic, is there? But there's really no reason to rush and panic because you know that your seats are going to be there when you're on the train anyway. This must have been the most luxurious train we've been on. Oh, yeah, it was I mean, really cool. Obviously, it's not... Obviously, there will be more luxurious yeah, trains. Yeah, of this, course For us, will. this is the most luxurious train we've been on, isn't it? Yeah, so your interrail pass, when you do take the Eurostar, and if you are using an interrail pass, and if you do have first-class tickets, there are different standards. So you can get standard premier or business premier. Business premier is the one above standard premier, and that is not included in your interrail pass first class pass, we travelled standard premiere, which was really good anyway, wasn't it, Mike? Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, we stand, we travelled standard premiere and we were downstairs. They announced when your train is in, everybody goes up the elevator and onto their coach. We were coach 10. We were sat in a four table formation and then one of us was sat behind. Yeah, because it's five of us. Um, Packer is under four, so technically he's free. Yeah. But... That means he doesn't get a seat, but we are, we've actually, with Interrail, they've actually given us five tickets, so he does get a seat. So Parker got his own but seat on the... On the yeah. Usually, if you have a child under four, most people won't get a seat. It's a lapse, it's a lap, but they do, they, they actually travel for free as well, so maybe that's a good one to note as well. Yeah. Hopped on board, we stored our luggage, there was plenty of room to store, they actually have designated areas for luggage on board the Eurostar, ours was quite close to our seat so we were really lucky weren't we, um, but there is other places down the train where you can store your luggage which was really good. But this particular carriage, it felt it was real cosy wasn't it, like there must have only been about 20 seats there. Yeah there weren't many on, on our actual carriage. It's like being in a little lounge. It was really good. Um, but yes, anyway, we all got set down. The boys were quite excited. We always travel with games and activities for the kids because obviously on long travel days, we need to keep them entertained. So the boys this time were playing kinetic sand and Play-Doh. And what else did they do on board? Lots of reading and a little bit of homeschool. Those were the activities that we took on board the train with us. This time, what was the food like you talk about food? The food was, it's like, it's a bit like an aeroplane meal. That's the best way to describe it. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it actually, and I'm quite picky with food as well. Um, but to be fair, aeroplane food, I think is quite picky anyway. You get a little bit by of By that, everything. what I mean by that is, it comes on a tray and you get a main meal and then a dessert as well. And then you get, you get a bottle of water with it. Then you can have a soft drink, either like a fizzy, a fruit juice or an alcoholic drink. There's another little cup where you can have tea or coffee, which they usually serve at the end. We've read mixed reviews about it. Yeah, we've, yeah. We both got the vegetarian option, the kids got the chicken, and we all enjoyed it, didn't we? Yeah, we all enjoyed it. But yeah, anyway, the food was a hit for us. It fed us, all five of us on board. It was good. Yeah, and I don't know if they serve it as you go into the tunnel, but... We both said. Oh, yeah, I know what you're going to say. You don't really notice that you've gone into the tunnel or crossed into a different country. You sort of just relaxing. You're going in and out of tunnels all the time anyway. And then you're like, what? Are we in France? Literally, I looked outside and read a French road sign and I was like, oh, we're in France. Yeah, we didn't even realise we'd come into France. <laughs> like, we've done it before on the bus. And, and you, you know that you, you're doing it, don't you? Because yeah. we've been on the chan is it the Channel Tunnel. It's yeah. different, isn't it? Yeah. It's just a different experience, whereas this one, yeah. you don't really know. It, it's not... A lady in the cafeteria who I was speaking to actually said we were only in the tunnel. She timed it for 20 minutes. And we were eating, sorting the kids out. So you actually don't realise. They don't announce it or anything, do they? No. Um, so you don't actually... We didn't realise that we were even in the tunnel. 
Maybe it's just us. If you've done the Eurostar before and you notice well, you were in the tunnel. We are pretty derpy sometimes. So. Yeah, we are really bad. And we're always preoccupied with three children. So That part of the travel day was fantastic. Can't fault it. Lovely experience. And we both yeah. said we would love to do it again. We would do it again. We yeah. really, really enjoyed the Eurostar experience. But ideally, what you want to do is you want to go from London... Straight to Manly Valley, which is Disney World, Disneyland. Yeah. Because I booked, if you're going there, this is where we are headed. But we actually got it into Paris because there was no more seats on the train going straight to Manly Valley. So we, I said, don't worry about it, Mike. We'll get a train from Paris Station to Manly Valley. How did that experience go? Mike? And this is the second part of the travel day where things went a little bit pear shaped. So anyway, we actually rode the RER trains. If you from Paris you or France, you'll probably know what they are. But the time that we arrived into Paris was around tea time, which is rush hour. So everybody is heading home from work. It is really busy. We'd read about it and we thought you could get one train from there straight to where it was going about 30, 40 minutes. Yeah, that's what it's said. But apparently you can't use your Interrail Pass. Where is it? Central Paris? Yeah, Central <laughs> Paris. So you can't use your Interrail Pass. On what, what lands? RER and underground it's anything to do with Paris I asked the the manager actually helped us didn't he we were heading on the RER trains out to Manly Valley but because it was rush hour it was really busy on board and we're not bothered by things like that normally but when we say busy think of London underground at rush hour that is exactly what this one was like and we had two big suitcases three children no seats pram Pram and we were just Backpacks. getting crushed. It was not a very nice It's our experience. fault because it was it poor planning. Yeah, but it was. We've you know, we've learned. Just a big tip, if you are planning to visit Manly Valley and go to Disneyland, then just try and book ahead of time so that you can get the direct train all the yeah. way here because that experience for us would have been amazing and it would have just been finished off nicely. But that just... We'll put it this way. We the, do it again. the full journey from London to Paris must have took about, what, two and a half hours? Yeah, two hours, 20. And then to get from Paris to where we are now took another two and a half hours. Yeah, it did. And it should have only took about 40 minutes. Yeah. So, yeah, I wouldn't advise doing that. Nope. Try and get the direct train because the Eurostar is a really good but experience. you live and you learn. And anyway, everything's turned out all right. We're here now. Yeah, and we're and somewhere. It's really nice. Really nice. Really nice. <laughs> really nice. No, it is beautiful where we've come to. The hotel or a part hotel where we're staying actually runs sh regular shuttle buses from Manly Valley Station. Um, and we literally jumped off at Manly Valley Station when we finally got here, jumped straight on the bus and came straight here. Anyway, we're going to go and chill in the other room with the boys. Stick on a Christmas movie and hit the sacks. We're pretty tired. It's been a long travel day, isn't it, Mike? Sure has. And then we're super excited about the next few days. Yeah, we're really excited. Um, so if you've enjoyed this video, please give us a like. Please give us a subscribe and hit the little bell because you're not going to want to miss what we're doing next. See you soon. <laughs>